Hello again. I hope that you enjoyed your break. Now uh, we would like to say hello to Luis Cano from uh, CMAT in Spain, presenting power production cooperation on a certified small wind turbine in a complex terrain on a rooftop. Luis, please go ahead. Thank oh, you, Martin. Oh, good. Okay, you're there. Good. Okay. 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 I'll push out the screen. Uh, Lewis, it's the a green one in the bottom, in the middle, in the bottom. Where it's written, okay, yes, sorry. green. You got it now? Good, thank you. Okay. Um, first of all, um, I'd like to thank uh, people from Nordic Orca Center for the invitation and for the organization of this uh, great webinar. Um, well, my, my, my presentation is about the comparison of the, uh, the behavior of the uh, small wind turbine that uh, was measured in the, take it into account the IEC standards. And the same machine was later uh, installed over the Rostov in, uh, in CMAT, and we measure uh, we measure it in more or less uh, take it into account the recommendations of the IEC with some uh, modifications. So uh, as you see that uh, standard uh, IEC uh, 61,412.1. Uh, so, uh, how to um, measure the power performance of a wind turbine, and uh, more uh, specifically, uh, NHH uh, refers to the small wind turbines procedure and makes some simplifications for the whole procedure. Another thing is that there are uh, out of spaces and places in where uh, small wind turbines. Uh, may be installed uh, above all in urban uh, areas. But uh, in these urban areas, there are uh, hundreds of obstacles uh, on other buildings, trees, uh, many, many obstacles. And uh, these obstacles affect uh, a lot to the small wind turbine performance. The problem is that. Uh, we don't know uh, a priori how is the, the amount of energy that is lost in, this, uh, in these installations. And so the question is, uh, is it possible or not to obtain a certified model of a small wind turbine instead of a rooftop? So this is a data sheet from the, the wind turbine uh, that was installed. That is a four kilowatt machine um, with uh, the power regulation of uh, consists on variable passive centrifugal pitch system uh, with uh, 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 rotational speed uh, more or less around 250. And, with a, uh, uh, any cut out with a speed. Yeah, this is a electrical connection and uh, which are the transducers and sensors to uh, obtain all the variables. And uh, taking into account the standards 
on and comparing uh, what uh, what we have to uh, in both tests. Uh, well, in the in the field test that is in accordance with the IEC standard, we have uh, carried out all the all the parts, uh, take it into obstacle assessments, site calibration, uh, and all the all the the parts, but in rooftop we have uh, uh, some some something that is impossible to do because uh, uh, it's, uh, it's 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 not able to 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 fulfill the IEC standard. So um, the obstacle assessment. Uh, it's, it's very simple in the in the IC standard. It's, it's in the NX8, but uh, in urban areas, uh, all everything, even the the building in where in where a rooftop is uh, sorry, a small wind turbine is installed, is is also an obstacle. So um, it's uh, it, this this is impossible to assess. And this is a, a obstacle evaluation in field tests, in which we have uh, both more or less north and south sectors uh, free to uh, obtain uh, good measurements. Um, here, there is uh, some evaluations of the obstacles we uh, we made, but the first the first thing that we uh, notice is that uh, in each wind direction there is a, a lot of uh, variation in, in wind shear just is because the obstacles so um, it's it's, uh, it's it's one one question that we have to uh, we'll have to uh, to solve in the future how to evaluate these obstacles and how in each sector, um, can we um, compare data? Because uh, it seems like uh, there are a lot of variation in the flux, in the wind wind uh, flux, uh, just in, 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 in variation in wind direction that are uh, with a few uh, angles. <laughs> Well, this is a picture and a and a graph for the anemometer mast we used in the graded test with um, a sample of the equipment, the, the cap anemometer, wind vane, the thermohygrometer, and parameter. And here there is a uh, the equipment we use in the anemometer measurements in the building. And we use a, a Winsonic anemometer from the trademark Jill. And we uh, we put two anemometers, one, one in the position where the small wind turbine uh, was going to install in the future, and uh, another one in where the anemometer in the world wind speed and wind duration has been measured. <laughs> so uh, the data called the calibration um, in where we have complex terrain and we have to uh, to do it. Um, the procedure in the IC standard is is, is very clear. It's not uh, Difficult to uh, to calculate, but uh, again uh, there is there is a significant variation with um, with a site with, if we try to do a site calibration in the urban areas. Here there is um, uh, a comparison uh, among the, both uh, with 
to sonic uh, uh, wind uh, anemometers and it seems like uh, it's uh, consistent uh, but it's difficult to calculate a flux uh, correction uh, factor in each direction uh, as the same mode in the IC standards without the, the use of uh, CFD uh, software. Here again, there is uh, uh, data from the uh, turbulence intensity uh, in both anemometers. In the north range, in, that is more or less the most, uh, is the clearest uh, direction for the wind. We, we have not uh, significant obstacles uh, except from the building, <laughs> but even though uh, we see that both anemometer has uh, well, more or less the same behavior in turbulence intensity. Again, if we do a, a wind direction uh, correlation between both anemometer, even though uh, they are, they are um, quite near because it's, I think it's around less than 10 meters away from each other. Um, there is a lot of points that is out of range. But this is because the turbulence intensity is, uh, is, uh, is important and uh, perhaps we have to do uh, an averaging, uh, an, an averaging time, not for one minute, but uh, but uh, with a higher time, perhaps five or ten minutes, in order to uh, correl correlate uh, both uh, wind directions. Another component that make makes um, a significant variation is the, the vertical component of the wind speed. That when you install uh, when you install a, a wind turbine in, over over a building, uh, you see that uh, this this component is important, and this is a component that uh, has not uh, influence in the power. So it's, uh, it's 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 important to take it into account. This this wind turbine, this uh, wind speed component for wind turbine. So, but here more or less both components in both anemometers uh, are are the same. Uh, later on, we we uh, normalize the data and we calculate the uncertainties. The uncertainties has been calculated. Uh, with the same value, more or less, in both uh, in both uh, calculations, and because there are parameters in in, in the IC standard that Zoom are not. Uh, sorry. Uh, so more or less, the uncertainty. Uh, was was the same. It's, we can, we have considered that is the same. And here it is this is the the comparison of the power performance uh, bet, um, between the IC accredited uh, wind turbine and and the, we we have calculated three power performance. One for uh, each uh, wind direction sector: one from the north, one from the west, and one for the east wind direction. And we see that uh, there are uh, significant variations. We have to say that uh, we have not enough data to complete the power performance because we have data only up, up to 11 or 12 meters per second over the rooftop. But 
it noticed that uh, there is a, a lack of uh, energy in the, in the power performance. If uh, regarding uh, the annual energy production, uh, it's, it's, it's the same. It, it's, this is just the, uh, the calculation of the power performance. So um, we can see that uh, more or less in the in, a, in an average uh, uh, urban area. Uh, around five meters per second, four or five meters per second, the, the loss of energy uh, could be around uh, 25, 30 percent in, uh, in uh, comparing with the one installed in the field. So um, as a conclusion, um, as, as we expected, uh, power performance uh, curve varies a lot uh, with uh, the measurements in over the roof or, or the field. Uh, the, there are two effects that are very important. One is the turbulence intensity, and the other one is the wind vertical component that doesn't uh, produce in, uh, energy in the, over the, the road. <coughs> and as a future world, we have to, to prepare a deeper analysis uh, using the CFD, and also we want uh, to repeat the, the field test in order to know uh, if the small wind turbines have the same behavior again or not, uh, or we have just a fatigue that uh, uh, decreases the, the energy. Uh, we wanted to to collaborate with other universities or research centers in order to work uh, in the or try to to make a site calibration procedure in not in urban areas but perhaps in 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 buildings uh, in in buildings that are uh, isolated perhaps and uh, the other thing that uh, we wanted to do is uh, study the vibrations of the small wind turbine, how, how to avoid it, because uh, in, some, in some cases uh, there are uh, important, and this is first thing is that uh, the, the life cycle of the wind turbine is going to be reduced a lot, and also is very uh, annoyable for the, for the neighbors. And this is, that's all. Uh, thank you very much. Thank you very much, Luis. Uh, are there any questions? Yes, it seems as uh, Brooke has a uh, question. Please, Brooke. Um, hi, Lewis. Thanks for the presentation. It's super interesting. Um, I'm not sure if you were home yesterday, but I work for a company that has a wind turbine that is designed specifically to go on the roof. Um, and I, unfortunately, this research that I'm about to talk about, it happened before I joined the company, so I can't uh, give too, too much insight into it. But there, we did quite some aerodynamic um, studies, I suppose, looking at the effects that a pitched roof has um, on the wind resource and how we actually want to take advantage of the fact that it helps to ramp the wind up, concentrate it to a certain extent. And so we put our turbine on the peak of the roof and have it tilted just a little bit to try to take advantage of that vertical wind flow. Um, so I'm wondering where, like, it, it looked like this was a flat roof that you were doing the installation on. I was wondering if you had any pictures about where the turbine was installed, how far back it was from the edge, things like this. Yeah, yeah. Thank you very much for your question. Um, yeah, this is, we have a, a well, I'm going to show you.
Do you see the picture of the of the building? Well, mm -hmm. this building has 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 a flat. It's it's not uh, this picture perhaps. It has is is flat terrain. It's flat rooftop and the shape of the roof is 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 a strange because it's it's like in one from the south is is like a aerodynamical to to uh, produce this effect that you that you have said but from the other side is is just a square it's just is 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 flat so it, we we wanted to to uh, to do in this in this way in order because finally uh, if you are going to install a a wind turbine uh, on roofs uh, you 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 see that there are hundreds of, of houses in which there are flats or or uh, like you say that uh, so we are we are a, a research center and we want we want to to compare this data with other centers. For these reasons, we have used a square, uh, see a wall and, and, and a flat rooftop, because we, we thought or we think that is the easiest way to, uh, to repeat this test in other, in other places, in other universities. Yeah. But it's true that we have noticed that uh, when we, when for example, in, in our installation, when uh, we have uh, a wind from the south direction, that is in this aerodynamic size, there is a, a good, uh, there is an acceleration of the of the wind. The problem of our our places is that the south wind is is very very uh, improbable. It's just in summertime, but uh, we have a very a very very few hours of this. Uh, for this reason, I just put north our fall, in which uh, we have a strong wind and, and, and a lot of hours. Mm -hmm. It's just our our center is is located in a place in where south wind is not. Common. That makes a lot but, of. Uh, I would like to. Uh, I would like to uh, that that you uh, send us information about your your wind turbine because I saw yesterday your presentation and uh, I would like to know more about about it. We can uh, try to catch up and change emails and such after. Thank you very much. Uh, there is a, a, a short question and. Uh, Please uh, answer as short as possible because next uh, speaker is waiting. This is uh, from Torstein. Yes, the question is, if there is a meta study or a meta analysis that has been done into the efficiency of rooftop wind turbine installations, or if you know of a, a specific website or websites where uh, research into rooftop turbine installations um, are collected. Yeah, our our objective, our objective is understand how to. Our our final objective is to work in the standardization of of. Uh, the measurement of small wind turbines over uh, buildings. We have to uh, to learn because, well, I mean, there are CFD uh, software that uh, gives a lot of information about the, how is the flux over any any building. But finally, we we think that. Uh, uh, if we try, if we wanted to make uh, more or less not an standard, but a recommendation of how is uh, the behavior of uh, horizontal wind turbines over rooftops, we have to have experiences. 
And our four, we have to have experiences that can be repeated all over the world because, and for this is for this reason, we think that uh, uh, it's 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 important that use more or less a normalized building or normalized test facility. Do you understand? It's, the, it's, this is, uh, the, this, I mean, the results of this study is just to show that perhaps it's, it's possible to, uh, to get it. Well, thank you very much, Luis.